Howdy. Let's uh, talk about some chess tactics and chess puzzles. So, if you're in the first meeting, I talked to you about some of the simple things you need in chess. Now, we know the pieces move. Um, so, we'll pay attention to how the pieces move. So, when you're looking at a chess puzzle, especially when it's a, a mate in one or a what's the best move, first thing I tell you to do is remember that the knight and the queen are super common being the solutions for chess puzzles. And the bishop normally acts as a blocker. He normally cuts off the path for escape of the king. So the first thing I want to do is establish that the bishop is doing that. And the way to do that is to set up a fence. Now, I got the same puzzles I gave you that first day. What I'm going to do is take my bishops. This one's mate and one, white to move. So I'm going to draw lines from where my bishops can move. So there's my bishop. There's my bishop. I got another bishop over here. He could go and capture this guy or down here, or he can go up and capture this guy. So I'm gonna check my bishops to see what they can do. Now, in this one here, when I look, if I capture this, it does the bishop no good. If I capture this, this pawn right here, it actually puts the king in check, right? And you'll notice the king has a fence from that other bishop, which means he can't get out. So if I go here, with this bishop, the bishop can get him. Now this pawn could get him, but let's take a look at what else cleared out. When that bishop moved, he made it able for this rook to also be in check. And even if the pawn takes the bishop, the rook will still take it. So there's our answer here. That one's as simple as the bishop captures at d6. Let's move to our second problem. Again, I'm going to start with my bishops to set up fences. This one says black to move. So I'm going to go up to my black to move here. Oops. I'm going to do my black bishop. So can't go there, but he can go all the way down here. And I notice that the king is here right next to that bishop's fence. So I know that the bishop is involved in keeping the king locked in. But nothing along the path of the bishop can actually threaten that king. So it's not the bishop, he's just the thing. Now I'm going to go to my knights. That's the second step. I'm going to put moves where my knight can go. The knight can go here, but it doesn't do anything. The knight could go here, and it does put the king in check. So I'm going to make that little mark there, but I'm not going to finish there. The knight could go here, and it does put that king in check from the L's on both those. So let's look. If the knight goes here, the king's in check. The king could move here, but that pawn will get him. He can't move up where the bishop's fence is because they've got him. So this is the move right here. If I check this move, he can go here, but he can, again, actually, this is the case where both are right. Hmm, interesting. So if the king moves here, or if the knight moves here, the king can't get out again. So either way, so again, knight, I put a2, but it's also knight d3. So that one has a dual response. Let's look at this one down here. All right, so this is a mate in one, white to move. I'm always checking that. I'm going to go to my white bishops, make my fences. So right across here, make my fence. I don't have any of the white bishops. You'll notice the king is here, so it doesn't look like the bishop is really going to play much of a role. So next, I'm going to move to my knights. So this is a white knight. He can move here. He does put the king in check, right? Uh, but the king could get out. Well, no, he can't. If he goes here, actually, let me finish my knight movements. He could go here and take this. He could go here, put the king in check. But when I check this one here, if he goes here, the pawn's going to get him, and nothing else really puts the king in check at that point, so it's out. We know the bishop is not in play. If he goes here, he can get the king. Now, the king could go here to this space at f7, but the queen would get him. Going that way. The king could go here, but again, the queen is locking. So we're, here's our solution. Knight to e7. I'm going to go to my very last problem. And one of the things you remember, when you take chess puzzles, you can write on the paper, which is why I'm doing the, the bishops. So this is a white to move. I'm going to take my bishops and make my fence. And I noticed already that that fence went right past the king. This bishop can go here and take that. We'll fence off here. 
here and here. So I already noticed that this is definitely going to be a case where the bishops are locking that king in because it denies the king these two spaces. He can't go there because the bishops got him. So next I go to my knight. Can't go here, can't go here. I could go here, but it doesn't do anything to the king. I could go here, but again, it doesn't do anything to the king, and I'm moving farther away. That's the only knight I have. Now I move to my third option, which is check my queen. So remember, in our options, we're going to check. We're going to do bishop. Then we're going to check the knight. Then the queen. And lastly, the rook. And followed by the little pawn guy, if I ever get to him, which is rare. So here we did the bishop, we did the knight, let's check the queen. So if the queen, the queen can move all the way across here and here, but it does no good. But if the queen moves to this spot right here, it does put the king in check. Now, this pawn could jump the queen, but at that point that bishop's fence comes in there. So in this case, it's queen to h5, and it's a capture, sorry, queen capture h5. So you'll see how the bishop's fence will give you an idea what's going on to the board by writing stuff down. Um, the bishop we write down with the draw the lines. Uh, the knight we show its locations. And generally by the time you got to the queen you have it. Uh, very few will be rook problems and fewer still will be pawn problems, although pawns can do blocks as we saw in one of these. So I hope that helps. I will get more of this on now that i figured the camera.